Georgia is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Tennessee's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the factor on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere. And throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. And he tacks on the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Georgia's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Good run by the halfback. That'll be good enough to move the chains. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. And he hits him hard at the 50-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. No, 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 check that, check that. We got Mike Kirky two right here. Red two. Kill, kill. Steps out of bounds around the 47-yard line. Goes right, picked off. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Georgia is up a score. Zips it to the tight end, and they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. Play action. Brought down right around the 26-yard line. I'm a huge fan of the play action pass in college football because to play action, it really puts a lot of pressure on defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position. And it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He makes it to the 15-yard line. Tackled 
Tackle made at the 16-yard line. The halfback loses a yard on the toss. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 16-yard line, it's second down. Georgia up seven points. Here's the pitch, left side. Runs outside for a nice game. Four yards there on the toss. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it third and seven. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. This isn't much more than an extra point. Georgia can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. Kicks up, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. On the throw, incomplete pass. His receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the ball, so credit the defender for breaking it up. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here's a running play. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Throws, falling back, and finds his man. They fall on it. And down he goes, around the 27-yard line. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. They picked up three points on their last possession, and they've got great field position to work from here. And he's sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. So the sack makes this a second and long. Four down, four down. 25 the mic. Here we go. Three, 45. Three, 45. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 30. That brings up third and 14. Deep ball, laying it out there. And he's got it, touchdown. These poor guys in the secondary look like they're still trying to catch up with him. He's gone in a heartbeat. Splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. Georgia's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. 
A fumble really hurt this team's last drive. So let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. He's taken down at the 41. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. And he is drilled at the 33. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Three down, three down. Mike 52, Mike 52. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Sends it out quick, intercepted. Boy, just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 45. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll make it second and They're about four yards away here on second down. Taken down at the 14 yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's the ninth play of the drive. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. That's a great tackle at the three yard line. They're at the three. Second down. Gotta be careful of a pass play with this defense. It's away from him, touchdown. He makes the PAT. A nice nine play, 52 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown. Drive. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. That'll make it second and seven. Throws complete, he's got space to work. And they push him out at the 37. That makes it first and 10. He's hit and taken down. That's a D12 on the play. First down. Come on, QB, come on. Check that, check that. We're going to Mike Duke the two right here. Check, 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 check. Fires out to his wideout, and he's level at the 43. That's a D8 on the play. That makes it second and two. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Fires quick, he catches another. He needs six on the play. First down. Watch the slip, watch the slip. Mike 52, Mike 52. Throws it, and oh, he dropped it. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment and his position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything works perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He's out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. Tackle at the 24-yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Here we go again. Mike 52, Mike 52. Black Hill! He goes out of bounds at the 22. And they make the stop around the 14 yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. Third down. Easy, easy. He might have a chance. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it first and goal. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Throws a strike over the middle. Tackle for a loss. Nothing going on that one. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. Red two. They go. Lead eight. They go. Touchdown, Tennessee. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. They go on the ground and fail on the two-point conversion. It was a 13-play, 76-yard drive, and they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. The Bulldogs are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Brought down around the 30-yard line. Five yards. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. From their own 30-yard line, second down. 
he tackles him hard at the 23-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. And he's going to come up with a sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. And this one is a beauty. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but i got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. He wants it all going long. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. Trying to change the field position with his kick. Excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He gets sacked on the play. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. him hard at the 25-yard line. So at the end of the half, the Bulldogs lead 24-6. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Coaches get big contracts for winning championships. But, you know, I think maybe they really earned their money in a game like this. When you see a team perform like this, leave no doubt, and look like uh, look like that they're playing to the level that they're capable of playing. Yeah, and, and a lot of times these are the games that cost you championships. If you don't take care of them, sometimes you come out flat, you see the big upset, down the road, you're comparing losses, and, and you're out of the mix because you lost to a team that you should have absolutely annihilated. So definitely kudos to the coaching staff for keeping everybody stepping in unison, keeping everybody on the same page, keeping everybody motivated. It's not easy. These are still 18, 19, 20-year-old kids that sometimes lose focus. Believe it or not, there are girls in class and other things for them to, to, them to focus on. So great job by the coaching staff getting their boys ready to play. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half.
Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He's got it with room to run. He's got the corner. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 48. Three down. 45 the mic. Ready. Flag 68. Flag 68. Here's a handoff up the middle and no room to run. That makes it second and ten. down now and they need to get it down to the 38s. Four down, four down. 45 the mic. Set. And this one's broken up. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Jarred loose. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. Second and 10, ball on the 19. the ground and he won't get back to the line. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. Three down, three down. Pick and choose the mic. Watch Mike, watch Mike. Yeah. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Kill, kill, kill. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Makes it out to about the 49. Makes it out to midfield. Yeah. 
You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And he is drilled to 39-yard line. That is a loss of seven yards on the play. Fourth down. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Booming kick. And he's tackled at the 29. For Tennessee, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to it. This offense hasn't done a good job of moving the ball either. That's one of the effects of not being able to protect the quarterback. He's having to get rid of it in a hurry to a check down to avoid a sack. Well, sacks only tell one part of the story. The scoreboard tells the most important part. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Hey. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and From their own 33-yard line. Second down. Ready! Ready! Throws it in a hurry. They'll get the first down on that eight-yard completion. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. He fights forward to about the 43. Gain of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Pulls in and he's in the open field. He's tackled at the 50-yard line. Nice run there. Well, Kirky managed to get enough there to move the chains. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. They go with a toss. They'll knock him down for a loss. I think a corner loves to have a chance to come up and make a play in the run game. So often they get labeled as just great athletes, and they just want to be involved in the passing game and being able to defend a receiver. Here, you see an attitude from this corner as he comes up, reads the play, and makes the play in the backfield. Ready! He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. So it's another third down upcoming here. This one will fall incomplete. Brad, I think the big fellow was starting to think about his touchdown dance, and he forgot to secure the football. You've got to hold on to the ball, big man, before you start to run with it. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. That's three down and one to go. The Bulldogs with an 18-point cushion. into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action they'll take over here ready to start a new series a quarterback in the gun with five receivers tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work to the 20 the 10 touchdown bulldogs well the 
offense certainly did their job. They've extended their lead here in the fourth quarter, and now they look at their defensive counterparts and say, hey, guys, it's your turn. And he converts the extra point. Georgia kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten them and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. Early in the fourth quarter here, and obviously we've got a game that's a blowout. In this situation, you just want to get out of this game without getting anybody hurt. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. It's second and 13. Ball on the 22-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it 37. Easy, easy. Three. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. That hurts because they really need to get something going and soon. That brings us fourth and seven. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Man, both defenses have really been stingy in this one, Herbie. But you look at the scoreboard, you wouldn't know it. You would never know that, the fact that the score is what it is. But both defenses have played well. But let's give credit to one of the offenses here just taking advantage of every single opportunity that they've had. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Georgia comes to the line. they got a big advantage in this one. They knock it down, incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Catches it, and that's all. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He's out to the 30. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Give to the tailback. They bring him down in the backfield. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. From their own 26-yard line, second down. And two, go! Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at about the 35. Close to a nine-yard pickup there on the slant. You leave your defenders vulnerable when it's man coverage. And that time, he paid for being a step behind the receiver. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. Kill, kill, kill! And he just gets rid of it. 
from their own 38 yard line. It's second down. Less than three minutes in the game. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's level at the 33. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. Mike, 55, right there in the middle, 55. Dog, four, green, nine, green, nine. And he's stopped behind the line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made right around the 10-yard line. That makes it first and goal. That's a great tackle at the 20. That's a loss of 10 on the play. That brings him second and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He gets hit out of bounds at the six yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Green pass, he's got his halfback. Touchdown, Vols! Nice grab by the halfback for the touchdown. It was a short throw for the quarterback, but not easy. He made that play work. He splits the uprights with the extra point. at the 46. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Just under two minutes in the game. He makes his way to about the 38. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And they make the stop right around the 28 yard line. That's a First and they'll bring him down behind the line. This one's in the books. The Bulldogs get the win here. 31-13. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.